hi guys welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new i happen to just buy so much stuff and i thought it would be cool to share it all with you guys so let's get started so something that i bought earlier this month for my dog like this all these items are just going to be all over the place but i bought something for my dog because he has weather anxiety all i know is he can sense when there is going to be a storm or if it's going to be raining really bad it's thunder and lightning he's off the wall he's definitely panting shaking and just pacing back and forth through the home going room to room like if you put him on the bed if you hold him he don't want to be held but he'll sit there and stare at you in your face and you're just like i don't know how to help you since i've had batman he has had a weather anxiety i don't know if you guys have seen it in the vlogs or not like for years i've been meaning to get him a storm jacket so the one that i have is by the american kennel club and this was about $29.99, $32 with tax, and it just kind of, uh, I'll insert a pick wraps under his belly, and then you collapse it on the other side, and basically the the feeling of holding his torso um, really snug and securely is supposed to calm the dog down, and it has stormed quite a few times, and I noticed my dog does really seem relaxed with it on, like he'll mostly now, he has it on, it won't be so much pacing and going from room to room. He may still shake a little bit, but for the most part, what I've observed is him really just sleeping a lot with the jacket on, <laughs> which is great. I mean, I'd rather have him sleeping than like working himself up into a frenzy because it's storming so bad outside. So I've seen him like literally stay calm with his jacket on. Like I know if I can hear the thunder pretty loudly, he can hear it and he's still laying there pretty chill with his jacket on. And this wasn't even the Thunder shirt, but I think a Thunder shirt is another brand that people rave about. But this literally is just like a piece of cloth that just holds your dog tight. And for some reason, it um it really helps my dog. I think it does. I'm not saying that it completely eliminates the problem. You're supposed to put it on like 30 minutes or an hour prior to the bad weather happening. So I try to get this on. Like sometimes I'm like, oh snap, it's normal. I'll put this on him. I think it still works, but uh, he may still be a little shaky versus when I already put it on him ahead of time and he just sleeps through it. So this, I think, has been a great purchase for me. So if your dog has weather anxiety like mine or like loud noises like fireworks and things like that you can use this for or just stressful situations, this can help your dog. It helps mine. All dogs are different, so... The reviews on Amazon were really mixed. Then. I'm not going to show y'all everything I bought because some stuff is purely like essential like printer ink. <laughs> printer ink and charger blocks. So we're not going to show that. But anyway, another thing that I bought, well I actually buy this quite often, but it's just deodorant. And it's just a, it's an all natural deodorant. It's by the brand Humble. It's 100% vegan. This one is made for sensitive skin and I get the fragrance Mountain Lavender and there's only really four ingredients in the formula which is fraction coconut oil, candanilla, wax, magnesium hydroxide, and cornstarch and then it has lavender which is the flower essential oil. So those ingredients are in this and I buy this probably on a monthly basis or every two months or so. And it just works. I stopped using aluminum deodorants maybe two years ago now. But I recently discovered this. I've tried. It's a pink one. I'll put in a picture of it. But I also tried Lumi. And this is the one that I'm liking at the moment. Like I've been liking this one. I know for more than six or seven months. So I like this one. So for a gift. <laughs> I actually had to go get the packaging. But I bought um one of the kids in my home um, a birthday gift and i know they love scrunchies so i got them like this 60 count pack of scrunchies and it has so many colors and i got these on amazon and for 60 scrunchies i paid 8.45 with tax so she has every color i actually did like take five of them i was like no give me five <laughs> give me five scrunchies but she has every color scrunchie. So if you have a kid that's like really into visco and all that stuff, this 60 pack of scrunchies is really nice. It came in this kind of bag. It's kind of colorful, good for storing it in here. But she really likes these. 
literally when I was like, let me see your scrunchies. I want to put them in a video. She pulled them out of her book bag. So she's carrying these with her. It's eight shades of pink, eight shades of red, like lots of scrunchies. She enjoys them. I also bought a coat rack, which I just put a picture of. And I just, I used to have a princess coat rack on my wall. Like I'm 23. <laughs> We are not, we're not doing that princess stuff no more. So I bought a white coat rack and I'll insert a picture of it. And the next thing that I bought was a HP 256 gigabyte jump drive just for videos and stuff. Um, I'm going to write this off for my taxes for my YouTube stuff. I pay for a monthly cloud service that stores a lot of my um, backup videos. Because if y'all remember, like a couple years ago, a lot of my videos got deleted, like at least 10 of them. And some of those are really great and they're gone. And I wish I had backed them up because I would have re-uploaded them. So now I'm smarter and wiser. I wanted to get um, an external hard drive, but I don't know. It was a lot of, that was too much. So I just said, let me, even though for a little bit more, like this was $30, $29 before tax. And... I got um, a one tetra by external hard drive for like 40 but I just went this way. I mean, it doesn't make that much sense, but I like how portable, like this is so much more portable. I don't have to be so careful with it like an external hard drive. This is just very simple to me. So 256 gigabytes and I'm just kind of trying to get some storage off of my computer because I have literally like a million pictures going back from like 2013 and i want to keep all of those so another thing that i've been buying like trying to get good this month is skincare so i ended up buying a bunch of skincare products some of these i did record or feel a skincare routine which is kind of like the early stages of my journey to clear skin but um, i bought this equate cleanser i do find that maybe it is a little drying but i started incorporating other stuff into it so i bought this from walmart and then i got the clean and clear acne advantage moisturizer if you guys have skincare suggestions i like affordable skincare <laughs> and i'm trying this spot treatment by equate and this is 10 percent benzoyl peroxide and this one has salicylic acid in it and also i bought um a vitamin c anti-aging serum from walmart as well so it's supposed to target dark spots uneven skin tone and expression lines and promotes a firmer looking complexion and it has ferulic acid i hope i said that right supports a luminous youthful radiance so i've been using it a part of my skincare routine i have a whole plan written out for my skin which i'll talk about that in my skincare routine video <laughs> But also, so from Amazon this month, I bought a couple of products and I decided to try these re these gold revitalizing eye treatment mask and these have hyaluronic acid in it and there are 30 in here. I think I've used maybe two of them and they use, they look like this. I had a mask, a gold sheet mask by OK Beauty or something. And that one was really good, but I was like, hmm, I wanna try others. So I bought this on Amazon. I forgot how much it cost. Probably like 10 or something. I'll leave a link, but there are 30 in here. And I also got just some hyaluronic acid from Amazon as well, because you know, this one is supposed to like really hydrate your skin. And um, I just, before this, like I was using all the products I just showed you in my skincare routine and my skin for a couple weeks were well, about a week or so were really dry. So I started getting into really researching skincare on YouTube and people were hooping and hollering about hyaluronic acid. I watched a lot of Jackie Ina skincare routines and when I added that into my routine, my skin stopped being dry like it was back to its normal <laughs> like it just my I have oily skin my skin is never like dry I know they say oily skin is like oily because it's parched but this definitely brought that moisture back into my face after stripping it trying to get rid of acne so that was the reason why I have like acne cleansers this benzoyl peroxide acne control moisturizer because I had like a lot of acne situation going on but I think we got that kind of under control now so now I'm just trying to think of a come up with a good skincare routine that works for my skin and adding this hyaluronic acid helped a lot. And also not done yet. I was I went on eBay and 
a lot of people were also still talking about rose hip seed oil i have been using rose hip seed oil for years now um i usually mix it with my um with my moisturizer back in the day but now i'm kind of using it as the last step of my facial routine, of my routine by just putting applying it all over my face um as the facial oil so i may add some more serums and stuff in there um, i'm looking for a really good dark spot corrector so if you guys know any or any serums or peels that can promote you know like new skin let me know because i'm really into skincare right now and i would love to just enhance my routine also this month i got my eyes checked and i had been meaning to do so for so long because i needed a new contacts i needed new contacts because my old ones were making my eyes burn every time i put them in could not leave the house with them in my eyes so i got my eyes checked and i got some glasses y'all know i am a i love getting affordable eyeglasses at firmu.com they are again super affordable and this time i have worked with them in the past on a lot of um videos where i got my glasses kind of free through their promote through a promotion when i work with them but i have bought so many good pairs of glasses from them so i got two pairs of glasses this is the first one um this one i actually decided to get blue light blocking in it so yeah this is what this pair looks like i have my contacts in and i cannot see so <laughs> So if my eyes look kind of crazy, it's okay. But this is what the glasses look like. I really like them because to me, this pair kind of, I feel like mimics my um skin tone a little bit. Like I have two pair of clear glasses, but this one, it kind of blends in with my skin in the back, which I thought was cute. So this is this pair. I like it a lot. And then I got a pair of sunglasses from Fermu. I've never gotten a pair of sunglasses from them before. And again, I bought these with my own money this time. And I'll talk about some items about that. So, these are the sunglasses. They look really good. Like, the fact that I don't have to just, like, I have so many pairs of sunglasses, but never a pair of prescription sunglasses. So, I'm happy because when I wear my glasses, now I can have sunglasses. And these both of these pairs of glasses i think the total for the two are 58 dollars for both of these glasses i did use a discount code they had on their site that anybody could have used but i got these two glasses for 50 dollars. when i was at the eye doctor i asked them you know how much are sunglasses like i want to get some prescription sunglasses what are the costs for those do you know this lady said the lenses started at 176 and it just depends on how which frames you get. The lenses start at one seventy six. I'm pretty sure these were like twenty five dollars. These were probably twenty three or something. But I don't. The moral of the story is together. I only paid fifty eight dollars for two pairs of glasses with Firmu. Firmu has changed quite a lot over the years because I remember when I first started getting glasses from them. They used to have like these world map cases. You would get the eyeglass cleaning cloth inside. And you would also get like a little, you know, like keychain eyeglass kit to fix it with extra parts. The cleaning cloth should be like blue or pink or something like that. And then you get the plastic cases. Okay, cool. With the gray cleaning cloths inside. And that was that. Um, I think they still gave the eye, the little eye tools for your keychain. But now when I got this order, I had an order in a while. I guess it is smart packaging, but the presentation of the eyeglasses has definitely changed a lot. Um, so my glasses arrived in a box like this and you just kind of pull them out. You got this cardboard box um, eyeglass case and it says it's made from recycled materials, which sounds good. I mean, that's great. But this is what you got. Like you got a cardboard box with your glasses in it. And um, they did give you this, which it says this is supposed to double as a cleaning cloth and a pouch. So I'm just like, we went from really nice world map pieces to separate cleaning cloths and all that to a cardboard box with the pouch that also doubles as a as a cleaning cloth okay so they just came just like this inside the box and i opened them up and my glasses were inside and this was it like that 
this is it <laughs> i'm just saying the presentation needs to be a little bit better for the packaging and things but the glasses are still nice so also this month on may 20th um ross opened its doors after all the quarantine so i bought a purse i went in there the day that it opened they said the lines were so long i did not go but um the next day on my lunch break because i am still working from home i decided to stop by ross and i ran in there i really just wanted a pink purse and when i tell you that the purse section was distraught it was it was done like people had grabbed almost every purse that ross had in there i don't know i'm i know the deals were good because this purse right here it was only 13.99 and i think it looks really good um if y'all seen my what's in my purse with my kate spade this one is like a similar style like a tote i love that style it has gold hardware and it's cute little leopardy print on the inside so all of these pockets work there's a pocket on the back and yeah it's really cute it has this piece right here kind of in the middle to separate the two quadrants of the purse kind of like my michael kors um jet tote jet set tote bag as well and this purse came with the wallet <laughs> so with the little wristlet so i was like this is a great deal you get a purse and the matching wallet and it also zips across the top so just like my kate spade this was a really good purchase for $13.99. Love it. Have been carrying it ever since. And here we go. The last final purchase that I purchased on the 29th, Shoe Carnival was having a sale on their sandals. Sandals were $24.98 and they're also buy one get one 50% off. So I got two pairs of these soda sandals and I know you have probably seen this style. My best friend had some and she let me wear um, a pair of them when we went on a cruise back in December to complete my outfit and I loved her sandals so much and for six months I have been looking for a good deal on them so I finally bought some this is the pair that she had that I really really liked so I bought one for myself they're just so cute y'all I love these they have a good platform on here makes you about two inches higher I'm five five so I can be five seven now and they're really cute and I also just got a basic black pair so I have worn the black ones but I haven't worn these yet, but they're so cute and I love them. So for both of these, I spent like $41 and that's that on that. They're really nice. They make you tall. So. <laughs> they're just so cute. And I love espadrilles. Like I love espadrilles. That's everything that I've bought this month. Um, some for others, some for myself. Lots of different categories. Like, again, really into skincare right now. I just wanted a couple things for myself. Been looking for those shoes for a while. Wanted a pink purse. Found a great deal on it. So those are all my purchases. What have you all been buying this month? Links to the products that have links will be in the description box. And without further ado, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below um, if you have any suggestions, especially for the skincare items. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.